In Creole Parametric, you can reuse a part model and its associated drawing even without a data management system like Windchill, but there are a couple things that you want to be aware of. So for example, here I have a drawing open and we can see that it's a nice gear model. Let me go to the window that has the gear model itself. And it's like, great, yeah, I wanna use this. I wanna make a few changes. Let's reuse the part model and the drawing. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a config.pro option turned on. Let me go to file and then options and then options once more, configuration editor. And in my config.pro file, I have an option already set. Let's take a look at it. Let me scroll down in the list. It is called rename drawings with object. And I have that set to both. If I go to the drop down list, you can see that none has an asterisk next to it. That means that is the default option. You'll want to change this preferably to both, although you do have the options of setting it just to part or assembly. So change the option and then save your config.profile, restart Creo Parametric so you are assured that the correct setting is in place. All right, that's good. Let me cancel out of the options dialog box. Then you would perform the save a copy from the part model itself, but Here's another thing that you want to be aware of. The part model and the drawing have to have the same name. So for example, I see right now that this part model is named 297-36. Let me go to the drop down list and go to the drawing. The drawing has a much different name. It's a bunch of zeros, then 13463. I need to rename this drawing if I want to be able to save the part model and the drawing together. So let's do that. Let's go to the file menu and then manage file, rename. And here is the default name. I'm taking a look at the model tree to see that this should be called 297-36. And then I will click the OK button. By the way, the option that is selected is rename on disk and in session. Make sure that you are doing that not just renaming in session. Let's click the OK button and the drawing is renamed. I can even close it and erase it from memory. I am using the icons from the quick access toolbar. And so now I can perform my save a copy. Let's go to the file and then save as, save a copy. And I'm gonna change to a different folder. And for the new file name, let me choose the name here for simplicity, and then click the OK button. And it says that the part has been copied to the name gear. Let me close and erase everything out of memory just to show that to you. Let's hit the open button. And here in that particular folder, we have the gear drawing and the gear part. Let me click the open button. And here we have the gear opened. Here we have the part and I have reused those models. I can do whatever I want to with them now. In another video, we will take a look at doing the same for an assembly and its drawing.